So I finished all the quilting. I'm very excited. It's looking quite nice, really. And these circles are popping nicely because I haven't quilted on the circles, but having quilted everywhere else, that helps them sort of pop up a little bit. And then I'm going to just quickly show you how to pop this flange, or it might be a piping, depends which way you want to call it. Um, I tend to call it a flange. It's flat. It doesn't have a cord or anything in it, but it is kind of like a piping as well. So there's different words for the same thing sometimes. So I've, I've chosen to put that on because on this quilt here, there's kind of yellow inside and I didn't, I wanted to bring a bit of yellow to the outside, but I didn't want a whole yellow binding. So it made sense to me to just bring a little bit of yellow in and then I bound it with the darker grey. So I thought I'd just quickly show you how to do the flange. I've already done most of mine, but I thought I'd just finish it off so that you can see what I've done. So in your pattern, it tells you to cut your strips one inch, one inch wide, strips of fabric, and there's several of them. And I've, I tend to join all mine into one long strip. I do a diagonal join, and then I'm going to just snip those little ears off because they're just not necessary to have on there at all. And then when you've done all that, press it all in half. And again, I've done all mine. It's just folded in half all the way along the length. And then I measure my quilt and I do the sides first. I measure it, cut my piping or flange to the same measurement as my quilt. So I might measure it in three places so that I get an average of measurements if they vary slightly. And so I'm going to put that on the sides first and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the top and the bottom. I'm going to measure again three times, take the average if they're a little bit different and cut my flange to the right length. I find that if I just sew it on, it could stretch, it could give, especially now that it's quilted, things can move a little bit. I would rather have it the length that I feel it should be and it stays on nice and straight for me that way. And all of that, of course, is in this pattern. So what I've got here is my last strip of the flange on here. So you can see that I've sewn up here and I'm just using a slightly less than quarter inch seam allowance because when I sew the binding on as well, I want that to cover this, this row of stitching that we're doing. So, and I just start straight at the end and I come right the way across and I'm nearly there. Now I have got my walking foot on. It's a good idea when you're working with these layers and particularly with that uh, spongy batting layer in there, a walking foot or a dual feed, if you happen to have anything like that, would be uh, really good for this sort of thing. It just helps everything feed through a little bit more evenly. Um, the walking foot doesn't have a quarter inch um, edge on it. However, you can move the needle or you can work out roughly where you want to sew, which is what I've done, and just start sewing. So I'm just going to finish off this edge with this flange on. And so because I've cut it to length, I don't want it to be longer at the end. I don't want it to be shorter. I, you might want to use some pins or little clips or something. I often just hold it. And I just make sure it's all going to fit. So I might then hold it further in here. I can let go of the end there. And I'll just keep sewing, holding that in place so that it, it might add just a little bit of tension, but it gives it a nice firm edge and it makes it the right length. on and then yay we get to put binding on so you, when it's a little bit bulky like this it's uh, good just to keep an eye on things make sure that things are going through nice and evenly I love this idea of a flange to just bring a little bit of colour to the edge. I think a bright yellow binding would have been way too much on the foot. This way I get a yellow and another colour. So there, I've got all my flange on all four sides now. So I'm now ready to bind. And because I'm going to be binding by machine, 